Oh, hello. <laughs> Acts as if he didn't accidentally just press the record button two seconds ago. Mm. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm drinking coffee with Baileys in it. That's only going to end badly. Yesterday I installed Visual Studio Code, recorded a bunch of videos and didn't get around to turning on the linting feature. Uh, linting is the thing that automatically will indent your code for you. Do you remember if you saw the previous video I was playing with this piece of code here? And I wanted to automatically indent it all and make it look pretty. So let's do that now quickly. Just, I just wanted to add this as a, a lesson on here because I figured that someone would have the same problem as me and I knew how to do it. I was just didn't do it anyway. So let's start Visual Studio Code. When we're in Visual Studio Code, you've got to make sure, first of all, that you've got all of your extensions properly installed. So, extalled, installed. Click the extensions button. Make sure you type code for i And basically, you should see the main two code for i's and then some add-ons. This one down here with a blue RPG is the RPG LE language tools and linter for VS Code. I hate that word linter. I'd much rather see it say code layout formatter because that's what it is. Anywho, once you've got this linter installed in one of your extensions, you can look, click on extension settings. You can either click the little toolbar next to the uh, extension itself and then click extension settings. And this takes you into your Visual Studio code settings specifically for VS Code, or you could click your little cog settings down there and type in VS Code dash RPGLE. Either way, you need to make sure that this is checked. Okay, this now allows you to right click the code, but wait, there is more. What we need to do for one time is set up Visual Studio Code so that it knows to automatically do linting by library, do this code formatting by library. So when you connect to your machine, click on your IBM I uh, icon, click on your connect to your system and you'll see the libraries that you're working in. I've got an object filter looking at my Litten library. If I right click on here, you'll notice that it says open RPG LE lint configuration. So you can click on that lint configuration and nothing happens, that's not right. Yes, it does. It just takes a while to happen on my machine. Notice that it came up down here saying RPG Linter doesn't exist for uh, Nlitten. Do you want to create it? I say, yes, please. And eventually, your RPG Lint configuration will come up. Yours will be faster than mine. Mine's very slow. And once you've created this for the first time, it just saves this config for your object browser filter that you got saved. And we say, that looks pretty good. Let's just close it. It's now created it in the background. If you have other um, object browser groups, we can open the RPG LE Lint configuration for those too. After a few seconds, the Lint configuration, the little JSON file that defines it appears. Yours will be much faster than mine. I'm going to stop moaning about the speed of my IBM I internet connection. I don't know whether it's my internet connection here living in the Spanish mountains, which is the modern equivalent of a piece of string with two cans on it, um, or whether it's my VPN, which definitely seems to give me some problems. It blocks things like you can see a big warning on my Outlook, and even my OneDrive isn't syncing whenever I turn the VPN on, or whether it's... Uh, the internet gods just grumpy at me because I enjoy myself so much tinkering around with IBMI stuff. Obviously, you can play with all of these values in the linter. I'm not going to. So let's just go and update something, shall we? Let's update. Hey, let's go and update that piece of code that I was looking at. Uh, VSC. This was the modernized um, service program code example that I created with Visual Studio Code yesterday. 
And quite simply, I want all of this to be, let me deliberately mess it up. Let's put things out of space, put some columns in the wrong space. Of course, um, <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> it's working straight away. What it's telling me is this is the linter doing its job, telling me, look, incorrect indentation. You've got all these things in the wrong place. And I just say, OK, select everything. Control A. I'm going to right click it and say format document. And what this should do, cross fingers, is tidy up my whole RPG program. Let's do it. Format. Bosh. Look at that. Straight away, I've got all my code beautifully lined up. It's a thing of, oh, it's a gorgeous thing. I've got a warning down here. Variable name casing does not match identifier. But what I will just do is I'll pick up that receive violin. It would compile, of course. But as I'm, uh, um, yeah, back into the code. There we have it. A beautifully formatted program. And again, the nice thing about... Um, Visual Studio Code that SEU doesn't uh, doesn't do is not only can I commit this and save it straight away now, I can also undo and scroll it all the way back if I want to back out the certain changes. But who would want to? I love it. Let's go and open this little serve this program because I know this one was also a little bit mal-aligned. Misaligned? Mal-aligned. Misaligned. Yep. Straight away, look, it just highlights it. There's only one line here, so I'll just write. Let me just select everything, right click, format. Bang! Beautiful. Well done, Code for i Gang. This uh, and the RPG LE Lint peeps. That really is a thing of beauty. Let me have a look at this. Who did this? Who was it? Works of Liam, John Lennon, Subsil P. Jurgen and Shibu. Thank you to everyone. These tools are invaluable for us grey-haired RPG programmers. And uh, bravo. You guys are stars. Send me your address and I'll send you a Christmas card. Or a nice cigar. Your choice. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm blathering about. Right, I'm going to end this video now and get in doing something actually proper. We're going to add a lesson on how to write a web service. Oh, that's much more exciting. So I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.